spot. It goes all the way up to Lower Wolf Creek and hits a main road called Senator Highway, and there's camping grounds all around. And camping grounds are for uh, money. You have to pay for this, like in, $10. dollars in the, in the $10 Wolf Creek uh, campgrounds, yeah, you got to pay $10, $10 a month. And this, this, uh, there is like lots of campgrounds which you can sleep for free, right? Yep. Okay, awesome. So, uh, but can you tell me again, because uh, somebody called me, my girlfriend actually called me and interrupted. So we actually starting from like maybe two minutes is the new video. So what's your name, Dre? Dre Nishimoto. Yeah, so, so you are originally? From Hawaii, from Palolo Valley and Kamokian University. I moved around all around the island, so. Okay, okay. So you used to work for the oil company? Yep, I used to work for a company in Odessa, Texas called 4C Construction. Okay. And I got laid off on February 9th. That was my last day reporting to work, 015. Okay. And since then, you are traveling? Since then, I've been just living wherever I want to live and just... You enjoying the life? Enjoying my life because... I was working 80 and 75 hours a week. I didn't have time to do anything for almost two years. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So now you're enjoying yourself. You yep. have your quiet time. I see beautiful bike you have here. <laughs> it's beautiful. The bike is cool. I saw this. Yeah, it's like beautiful bike. So, and then you like to bike. I like to bike. I just started mountain biking about mm -hmm. a year ago. Mm -hmm. about, a year, about a year and a quarter ago, actually, is when I started. Mm -hmm. So you're going to be here seven days? Yep, all the way to Sunday. Sunday, and then later you go to some other yep, place, I'm going which to, is also... I'm going to another dispersed place similar to this, but uh -huh. it's on the other side of this place. Mm -hmm. So let me show you guys, because I didn't... This is the new video we got. So this is for mosquitoes. <laughs> this thing for mosquitoes. And then... This this uh, gentleman helps me because we couldn't even talk <laughs> because of those mosquitoes. So you see, my beautiful people, there is lots of people, and like you were traveling before too, right? Yep, I did. This is actually my fourth go around. I used to be an over the road truck driver driving the eighteen wheelers across country. Mm -hmm. I did that for about twelve years. So there's not too much places I didn't go. You you've been everywhere almost. Uh huh. I went to all the major cities. Mm -hmm. I went to all these major small towns and mm -hmm. places where you wouldn't even think of going. I went. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. So tell me, what was the most beautiful place you went? You like? Uh, actually, it was Texas. Actually, believe it or not, but I ended up being a Texas resident for about almost ten years now and there. Yes. Because uh, I like the place so much because there's five different cities over there mm -hmm. and there's all kinds of small towns mm -hmm. and there's good hunting and fishing over there. Good hunting and fishing. So you hunt too? Yeah. And then you eat it. And then you fire on the fireplace? Yep. We cook on it on the we cook it on the pit and rotisserie, the mostly wild pig. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of small game you can eat too. Quail and mm -hmm. pheasant and mm -hmm. turkey. and mm -hmm. You cannot starve down there. You can even eat the snakes. The snakes are real good. Really? <laughs> you never ate snakes before? No. They taste like They taste almost like cuttlefish and chicken to me. Yes. Some people mix it up with... Uh, uh, scrambled eggs. I just cook mine and sometimes I boil them and I just eat them like that, man. It tastes real good. Mm -hmm. A lot of protein in them. So, so tell me, so you are like a man from the wild. <laughs> <laughs> right? Almost. Yes? Like a Tarzan. Almost. Right? So you know how to prepare food and everything, right? You see, I think that will be like, right now, that will be a trend. And like you said before, when you talked to me before, that's a lot of people start doing it, right? Yep. You see a lot of people on I the road. I see a lot of people on the road, truck stops, uh, fuel stops, all these all the way, uh, out of the way places. You got to look and look around and you see them, but you don't, people, other people, they don't notice them because they're not really looking at other people. Mm -hmm, they're just mm -hmm. concentrating on what they're doing every day in their life. So what is your like? What do you do usually like every day? Tell me. Every how, day. How your there's How what time do you go to sleep? I go to sleep whenever I get tired, which is about probably one o'clock in the morning. What, one a.m. And then I and then I usually get up at about five or six because in this state the sun rises very early. Mm -hmm. By five o'clock and four thirty, the sun's already up. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
but only in the summer or in the winter? No, no right now. Uh, but usually I'm a night person because uh, when I started doing jobs, I used to do it all night shift. So mm -hmm, I'm a night mm -hmm. person. Mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. here, I'm becoming a day person because the sun just mm -hmm. beams and it, the heat just comes up. And by, by 6 o'clock, it's already hot down mm -hmm, here already. Mm -hmm. So tell me, what do you do like later? You wake up, then you watch your day. Wake up, I look at my map and I look at my phone, see what trails I want to go. And there's all kinds of trails, miles and miles of it. And I just pick one and I just ride the whole thing, the whole day. And then you ride the bike and then you yep, enjoy the scenery. Yep, I ride my scenery. bike and I enjoy the scenery and yep, I just, I just enjoy riding, and checking and you, out everything. And really. relaxing your life, right? Not hurry, hurry, right? Yeah. <laughs> relaxing, right? Yeah, so this is what I would like to show you, my beautiful people, that there's a lot of people like this gentleman and they're living like in the wild and they have beautiful life, they're enjoying. And you, I will show you later pictures because I made some lots of pictures from this area. So it's very beautiful. And I encourage you to go to the nature and enjoy nature, right? So do, would you, do you want to have some message for my beautiful people? Like one message you want to send to the people? One message I want to send, when you guys bring stuff into the camp, take the stuff out that you guys bring. Don't leave it over there because this stuff we stay here for 5,000 years. It won't ever go in the ground. Take your trash with you. Very good, very good. So thank you so much. Uh, you sending love to everybody. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> sending love to everybody. And uh, thank you very much, my beautiful people. I have to finish because the battery is going low. So that's why I'm finishing faster. Uh, love you so much, sending you much love from this beautiful area and aloha! Yep, yeah. aloha! <laughs> <laughs>